Hey guys, welcome back to another crypto video. And today, I'm going to give you guys the latest news on Ripple and XRP. And we've been definitely feeling that bullish vibe right now with plus 9% on the day here, almost hitting 33 cents. It is actually quite insane how well everything is doing. BTC is almost at 7k as well. This is actually an insane day. I did not thought we would witness this in, you know, quite a few days here actually or we expected the quote-unquote little run up to be at the end of May, but it's already now. It's only the beginning of May here, the 11th. It's, it's insane. It's crazy how quickly this is going. But guys, make sure you check out the Discord right now. Make sure you send a message in here. And um, yeah, the first person actually send me a message, a private message, will win something cool. So make sure you quickly go ahead and do that right now. It is actually being um, a cool place right now still, so make sure you check it out. And just come say hi. But... Make sure you understand that this is no means financial advice. This is just for entertainment purposes only. And let's get into the news of today. So Ripple needs to boost XRP usage to profit investors. Now, this is, of course, always a very interesting topic whenever we're talking about, for example, XRapid and how much it's going to influence the price of XRP and how Ripple can help us and what Ripple should do, what Ripple is supposed to do, things like that. I'm always in the middle with this. I'm saying Ripple should just do whatever they plan they're a billion dollar company we're just all small little um possibly million or possibly just thousands or possibly no money investors we're just here sitting tightly hoping for stuff right but those guys of ripple who are backed by google ventures and whatever big investment companies you can think of most likely do have a little bit more knowledge about what they want to achieve and how they're going to do it than we do and as an example with boosting xrp i don't think boosting xrp is their main priority but if you think about it, XRP is a very big thing that they own. So any higher value of XRP does boost the value that they have as well, does boost their own assets. So they're always looking for a higher price of XRP indirectly, though I think they most likely are looking for the best ways to make sure that the coin um, has a future, so to speak. So it has a use case and that use case works out, but really with fundamentals. So working their way from the ground up instead of just throwing a lot of things at it and hope some of them work out. So what I'm saying with ground up is they're building XRapid just from the ground here, getting a lot of these people on, but really making sure that everybody is solid. Everybody's happy. There's no complaints. The technology is good. It's all working in a nice fashion. And added to that, we got Spring, the, of course, um, that is investing everywhere to get XRP use cases. XRP Labs still being good. But Ripple... They don't need to do anything. I, I still, still think they know it better than we do. And I, I think it's just a little bit unfair for us to to speak about what they uh, should do or should achieve. Since they probably know it better than us. I'm just, just putting it out there. They probably know it better than us. If you do disagree with that one, let me know in the comments section below as to why. Because um, I, I can't see the other side. But maybe you can convince me that I'm wrong. But Crypto Analyst says Bitcoin in critical zone after a massive surge. That will be right now. And BTC, XRP, Litecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, Cardano, Monero, IOTA forecasts. Of course, if we scroll down a little bit, you can see that BTC, man, people are already being crazy about all the prices that are going around right now. Last time BTC was this overbought on the RSI on a daily chart was December 6th, 6th of 2017 with a price of 13.7 thousand. Back then, a parabolic move ensued. So that's actually very positive. So a parabolic move could mean like, um, we're going up like this now, and then we're going to go like this, um, which would be very, very positive. If you exclude BTC's 10 best days, the digital asset loses 25% a year, which is actually, again, quite interesting to to see. Um, this is, again, if we're following historical analysis. I don't want to get into that too much, since this, of course, is following the um, one of the famous strategies of just looking at the past and seeing how the, the, the future will do, though... It's so subjective. So many people have really hated me for using these analysis sometimes in my videos. So I, I'm kind of debating about if I should really show you guys about this or not. But let's quickly read through it so you can make up your own opinion and so you know what it is about. Thomas Leader says, Definitely a positive development that Bitcoin is now above its 200-day moving average. Many consider price over 200-day moving average as a sign of BTC in a positive trend. A lot of people do. That's definitely true. BTC acts significantly better when the price is above 200 um day moving average a win ratio of 80 percent versus 36 percent when the price is under that average this is um or the, the source here so this graph and whatever is from data scientists from stratken and alex kerna so uh this is a little bit too small to read 
Bitcoin 200D moving average and Bitcoin spot price. Bitcoin spot price above 200D is bullish. Times of instances, percentage of time, uh, six month forward return win rate. And you can see them down below here. 200 day meh, moving average, $5,500 above 200 days here, below 200 days here. And then you can see the, the difference that it, of course, has made, which is actually quite insane. And really above 200D is then really, really positive. But reminder that BTC generally generates all of its performance within 10 days of any year. Um, ex exclude those 10 top days, BTC is down 25% annually since 2013. So if you exclude those, then we're still really quite down. It is actually quite interesting to see, though. Um, again, it's just a little bit of a theory. For equities, X top 10 days, the S&P only seeds 300 BP per annum per year. The obvious conclusion is top 10 days way more influential for BTC than equities. Hold on, the other 355 days, and that's why they use 355 here. Uh, because they exclude 10 days of the best. Now, what is interesting about this is that XRP actually still is very, very much coupled to um, BTC. And thus, whatever these big moves are that we're talking about here, so whenever we're talking about these bullish vibes for BTC, critical zone in a positive sense, so really sparring up for a parabolic surge, we're also hoping for that for XRP as well, right? With BTC, it's definitely been um, the start of a parabolic surge and definitely on the month as well. It's just been looking really really positive plus 40% on the month almost nearing 7k It's insane, but that could really really be positive for those other coins as well specifically XRP I think would be huge for uh, That is because again XRP has just been known to to really stand out when it comes to these big surges when um, the rest of the market is bullish So there were some instances where BTC was going up like plus 5 XRP went up plus 30 plus 80 even and there were some instances where BTC was going down a little bit and XRP was still holding strong, going up like crazy. Bitcoin crosses strong 6700 resistance. Bitru says XRP, Bitcoin, and other coins can soon be purchased using credit cards and more. Tron is no longer decentralized, states ex-CTO Lucian Chen. That's some more on the Tron video that I'm going to be doing later on. But here's XRP. XRP li Ripple Liquid Index on Google. On April 29th, Nasdaq announced the addition of the Brave New coins xrp liquid index on the nasdaq global index data service sm it is also announced that the X index will be live on may 1st however the index at press time wasn't accessible on both brave new coin and nasdaq but an interesting revelation was the fact that the index showed up in google search that was again quite interesting but uh we already quickly talked about that though i thought we should quickly re-mention it because um they put it in here so it's like you know this is news for the last week or so and this here Fidelity will stick to top cryptos like Bitcoin and XRP. So this is actually a lot to do with the fact that there are a lot of sudden moves in these big coins, right? So these bigger companies like Fidelity have to make choices about what they can stick to, what they find too risky, and they have to rethink strategies many, many times over. But here we've just um, noticed that they really want to stick with XRP still, which is a very positive thing. In this part, they don't really mention it, but um, I've seen it in multiple places where people say this. If anything is wrong that you see here, make sure you put it in the comment section down below so we can um wrong our, our wrongs or right or wrongs now ripples xrp ta xrp to use the heavy protection around the 30 cent mark as bear threat lingers this is always so fun to me right yesterday a lot of these articles came out already of people saying that 30 cents is a major resistance point we can't cross 30 um bears are lingering at 30 cents you know we're not gonna go past yada 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 but it's really, again, quite interesting how we just flew past it like crazy when BTC did. And then again, it's showing to me that it is still coupled together and it's just following the general market trend as we expected. What a good thing about that is, is that BTC is on a definite run. We know that. And if that one goes parabolic, XRP has way more chance of going parabolic as well. The con to it is that the exponential growth that we just talked about for XRP, the explosive strength that we know it as or with, yeah, that, that's... A little bit less likely of happening because of the the because it's not that decoupled or not decoupled at all yet. Might still happen though, right? Might still happen. There's so many things that could make it do so, and the fun part is just that people did not expect this move from XRP, and I'm I'm really uh, enthusiastic about this. XRP Ripple Liquid Index on Google, BNC's Liquid Index on Nasdaq ready but not released yet. Again, the exact same um, thing. It was shown on the Google, but it was not shown on the website itself, which was again quite interesting, but. If it's already in Google, it will get out there. So that's, again, quite a good thing to, to take note of. Alt season, XRP to skyrocket as Fidelity plans to invest heavily in it soon. 
Um, this is again what we've been talking about the last couple of days even, that there's so many big players waiting for these coins to come down to a certain point. And I think that this run up that we're seeing now, so BDC going up 40% and XRP in turn, uh, let's see how, how did the monthly, going down by only half a percent on fiat, which is still quite good, only being 91% down from all-time high instead of 95 or something, or 97. I think this is a very good move for investors again. Not because they're going to buy more now, but because they have a lot more faith that these coins are not dead. When I talk to some normies, I'm going to call them, so people that are not really into crypto daily, they often say, oh, but I think that you know crypto is dead or I think it's dying out. And I definitely think that's because the news, the normal news for normal people, is not really reporting that much anymore on, on these cryptocurrencies because they're not in those crazy price ranges anymore. But as soon as we're going to see BTC close to 10K again, you're going to see a lot of news popping up again. The coin you thought was dead is still well alive. And then there's going to be a lot of speculation again, a lot of bad publicity, which is again good publicity for the coin because more people buy into it. And so forward and so forward and why i'm just talking so much about btc right now is because that one is really the hot thing but it all translates into more movement for xrp as well which is why it's all still good and we might be having a discussion about dominance though dominance is just for um how decoupled these coins are if dominance would it be at 10 percent all these coins would have their own life but btc is still very much the dominant crypto out there and that definitely makes it so these other coins are gonna have to follow it um and they will XRP, Bitcoin, and other coins to be made available for purchase via credit cards on Bitru, which again, what we just read, again, really, really positive, really cool. And last but not least, Ripple XRP price analysis. Jake Canfield compares Ripple with the falling knives. Oh, my day, guys, quickly. With the falling knives, short-term bull run is predicted. And again, it is already kind of a short-term bull run. It's already quite a positive thing that just happened now. And I definitely think that there's more to be coming here. What the price is going to do is very hard to predict right now. We're going to have to look at a BTC analysis for that, but that's not in this video. Make sure you check out the next video that's coming up later today. Make sure you follow us. Make sure you press subscribe right now to get notifications every time I upload something and make sure you check out these links. But first, make sure you check out the Discord right now. A link for that is in the description. If you don't, then uh, yeah, you should, you're missing out. So check out the Discord. Here's free Bitcoin again for some free Bitcoins. Make sure you check it out. Instagram, TheDustyBC. Make sure you follow me on that. Go ahead and go ahead. Go ahead right now. Ledger. Be sure you buy yourself a hard wallet here to keep your coins safe. Don't keep them on exchanges. Keep them where you can own them yourself. And make sure you follow me on Twitter. See a live demo from CTO UpK Kuwait and find out how RippleNet is supporting innovative mobile payments from Kuwait to the UAE. It's also quite a cool video. I actually saw it, I think it was yesterday. Yeah, it must have been. Um, it's a cool one for you guys to watch. So I would just like it. You can check out my Twitter. You'll find it. Thank you guys all for watching. And I'll see you again in another crypto video.